Frank Bruno is already a, one of the grandfathers of the world of boxing, <laughs> but now he's become a granddad for real. He was ferocious in the ring, but his daughter Rachel says her dad is totally smitten with a new addition to the family, baby Amaya. Granddad, how are you doing, yeah, man? Not too bad, very <laughs> well, thank you. Nice it's not often you get upstaged. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the little yeah, ones no upstaged problem. you this morning. Yeah, this little thing, yeah, she's definitely. A... And she, she's yeah. woken up. She knows she's on telly. Yeah. She's just yeah. woken up. She's a pro. <laughs> she's a pro. <laughs> Frank, tell us how you are. I mean, you, you know, when everybody, you know, they say just say Frank Bruno is going to be on the show. Everybody that you say that to, the smile comes across yeah. their faces. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody has um, rooted for you over the years, yeah. absolutely taken you into their hearts, and right. you know that, don't I you? Don't know, just, yeah, you, right. you absolutely are. Um, you look incredibly well, yes, and that is you. something that's important to say, isn't it? Because it's yeah. not always been that way. Definitely, I feel very, very good, right, a good place, and very, very happy. What do you put that down to? I, I know clearly, uh, Amaya has made a huge difference, but there must be other things in your life. Um, go to the gym, go to the Champions, go to any time fitness um, every day. Just keep it real. What incredible! Look at that. I mean, <laughs> um, yeah, yeah, from that's those guns, yeah. man. <laughs> <laughs> they're from Primark. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, try and look after yourself. Take your vitamin tablets. Try to go to bed early. Wake up with a, uh, you know, what I mean, a nice. That you can wake up in the morning and just. And you do out. meditation, am I right in saying? Yeah, I do that? meditation and a little bit of yoga as well. You do know you? I mean? As well as go to the gym and have Can a you do the downward out. dog, whatever it's called? The downward dog. <laughs> I could do the upward dog. <laughs> <laughs> the downward dog. Well, see, <laughs> can you. What, 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 so you've obviously had some, you know, mental health problems over the years. Yeah. I mean, you sectioned three times. Yeah. Is that? And for you, Rachel, you've, you've seen all this with your yeah. lovely dad. How hard has it been and what is it like now to be sitting here with him? It, so it well? was really hard. When he was, when he was poorly, it was like, I didn't think we'd ever be at this position now as a family where we'd have our life back and we're all so close, aren't we now? Yeah, yeah, definitely. And yeah, it's, yeah, yeah. It, it's when, when we were in our darkest days, when my dad was ill, I didn't think we'd ever get to a point now. But it's so nice that he's medication free, he's, he's keeping up with everything and he's seen her all the time. And I didn't think we'd ever get this relationship back. And is that because Rachel, you know, did you never get give up on? on no, you can't. Mm. Family, like we 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 will stick through anything. Um, but y there are times where you think I'm going to give up. I don't ever see a light at the end of the tunnel. But actually. It took a few years, but we've got there. Mm. And you say that you're medication free, but that doesn't mean that the mental health problems are gone completely. I think everybody, if they look at themselves in the mirror, they realise sometimes if you get a letter for the letterbox and it doesn't suit your way, and it, you know, I mean, it's de depression and different things. Everybody goes through a well, stage in their life yeah. where they go through. Uh, they're going to go through a, a yeah. ups and downs sort of like day. But yeah, as long as I get up in the morning and breathe, I'm just happy. Great.